Okay, so it's very simple. First, you should install cryptography, okay? So you can do pip install cryptography. But there is a simple way to do that, okay? If you're doing this on your terminal, you should have connection to the internet, okay? So on the terminal, you can do pip install cryptography, okay? That's fine. Or you can just do everything right here in your PyCharm. You can just, just go to file, you go to settings, and then you go to your project. So you go to Python interpreter, and here I have these packages installed. You see pip, setup tools, wheel, and all that. So you do plus, and then you search for cryptography. <coughs> Okay, so you see cryptography right here, and then you say install package. Okay, so then you get it installed. Or you can you can come to the win, uh, the command window. Okay, and then you do pip install cryptography. Okay, but because I have it installed already, it will tell me that. Blah, 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 blah. So requirement already satisfied, okay? Because I have it already installed, right? But if you do pip install cryptography, then you should be able to get it. That's fine. Okay, so now let's get back to this side where we are going to actually try to do the first simple, the first simple code okay so this is what we are doing we said um let me just zoom this a bit okay you are all able to see this right so message i'm starting with message or if you like plain text all right so maybe i just start with plain text so plain text is equal to then let's use a string, but sometimes you could also read a file in, right? You can open a file and read it in, that's also fine. But let's just begin with a string, and then I'll just say, this is my first text, okay? Now I go to the next line, and I want to reverse, okay? So how do I make sure that the reverse happens? So first I'm going to declare a variable, and then allow that reverse text to be stored in that variable okay so i'm just going to say um cipher text okay is equal to quote quote because that's that's going to be um what is going to be holding my cipher text okay so then the next thing is that i want to um i want to now find the length okay of the text of the plain text of the characters in the plain text okay store it in a variable and then now uh now use a condition okay a looping condition to do the reversing okay so that's basically what i'm going to do okay so the reason is i want to be able to reverse each character all right so i need to be able to deal with each element in the string okay or each character in the string okay so i am going to treat it as a list okay right so that's it now what you do right now how do you find the length of uh, any anything any <laughs> any string or whatever so it's len right or any variable so so i is going to len and then what you do is that you put the plain text here okay because that's you're trying to find the length of it and then you're saying minus one okay so then you're saying while i is greater than or equal to zero okay why i is greater than or equal to zero then i want my ciphertext to be equal to the ciphertext plus the message with respect to a particular text or character in it. Now, we're going to be treating it as a list, okay? So you'll be seeing the 
the indexing box right there okay so here we go so I say that uh, cipher text should now be equal to okay so cipher text plus then plus plain text but then it's going to be treated as a list with where I will be forming each character in the string okay okay so all right so now once we do this we say then i is equal to i minus one for our looping to happen okay so are we good now we we may get an error here because we have to bring a full color okay so now once we are done this will essentially help us to do the reverse okay and these are warnings for spaces that's fine okay so I mean nothing will happen if you leave it like that there's nothing wrong so now I make my print statement so I'm saying should print what it is going to print the cipher text is that okay guys so you say print the cipher text The, the cipher text is then I want to a cipher text, right? Okay, so this should work fine for us. Okay, so this is going to do the reverse. Okay, so you can imagine if you wanted to do any symmetric encryption or if you like, this is a traditional one, right? So just playing around it, you you just do this reverse thing, you send it to someone, then they are able to decrypt it. And then they know what you actually want. Is that not so? Okay. So we will also program the decryption part. So this part is only going to encrypt it. Okay, so how do we decrypt? Do you understand? Okay. So to decrypt, then we are saying that when we decrypt, okay, so plain test coming into a ciphertext. So when we decrypt, we want to call that, obviously should be called a plain text, all right, but let's use the word decrypt, okay. So, so decrypt is equal to, to ciphertext. Okay, so now, do you guys follow? You understand that? So decrypt goes ciphertext, then we are saying that plain text, plain text O, standing for maybe the original plain text, right? So plain text O, is it should be stored here. Then we we will follow through the same process because it's reversing, so we have to just reverse it. Is that not so? Because when, when you, re so the idea is that when you reverse the cipher text, you get the plain text again. Is that not so? So we are just, what we are just doing is to reverse the cipher text. So we go through the same reverse our process. Okay. So it's pretty easy. So plain text O, standing in for that one, then you can do I, I, uh, maybe let's, for purpose of clarification, let's use J is equal to length of, uh, Length of what? Decrypt. Is that not so, guys? Are you guys with me? <laughs> Minus one. Okay, so then you do your while J is greater than or equal to zero. Sorry. Zero, full column. Then here you are with um, the plain text O. Okay. Plain text O is equal to plain text O. Is that not so? Okay. 
then now we have to treat we have to treat it as a list right we treat decrypt as a list okay so decrypt as a list with j okay then we do j is equal to j minus one then we can print our the the plain the original plain text okay is then we give a comma then we give what are we printing now guys mm -hmm. yeah we are printing plain text plain text so that's what we are printing okay so let's see how it, it goes let's review again so what we are doing here is that we have a plain text that is a string It's just a string this is my first text and then we want to store the reverse of that in the ciphertext variable and then we are saying that to do that we need to run a loop where we are treating the string as a list and then we refer to each of the elements in the list at a time and do the reverse okay so that is the looping we have here and then we at the end of the day print this particular variable ciphertext which is going to be holding every um, element okay at the end of the day right so to decrypt then we are saying that um we we just need to reverse the ciphertext okay so here decrypt is equal to ciphertext here we are referring to this ciphertext and then plain text o stands for your plain text original plain text okay so we are going to store the original plain text in this variable and then we again going through the process of um reversing okay so we treat the ciphertext as a list and then now we use um, j to point to each of the element and then try to reverse and at the end of the day we should have our answer okay so let's run and see how this goes any question guys one no you are treating you are treating it as uh you're treating it as a list right so and then for i when i declares the length it is declaring it as a digit okay if you do len plain text it's actually literally going to count each of the text and each of the characters and give you the number okay so if if you do len hello how many characters there h e l l o is on a five so it's actually going to print us it it is going to look at it like five so it's going to be five minus one so five minus one you get four is that also then it takes you as a list it takes you to the fourth element you understand so it goes like that okay good all right so um so we we don't have any errors showing just some warnings maybe probably for spacing uh let's run So, so yes, our code is working here. We see the ciphertext is what? The ciphertext turned into this. It's a reverse of it, right? So this is the ciphertext that we're probably going to be sending to whoever in this, um, in this symmetric process, all right? But then to get the original plain text, we get it back. Is that also? So the original plain text is, this is my first text. Is that also? And then the ciphertext is this. So that is a demonstration of how to use reverse um, how to use python to code reverse cipher okay this is a very basic one so if you wanted to do this in a very fun way then you can ask a user to make an input is that also so now you get to that level where you are playing around with it so you get you have to receive an input okay i'll let you see okay so you can ask the user to input any character and when they, they did the input, then your loop gets it reversed, and then it encrypts it. Is that also? And then at a point, you can get it decrypted as well. 
Do you guys get that? So I'm giving that to you as your homework. Now let your program accept an input from a user. So the user should be able to enter any string of characters they want. And after they have entered, then the, you do the, uh, your, your program does the encryption. And then at the end of the day, you should also allow the user to enter the ciphertext, any ciphertext, and your program should be able to decrypt and give you the plain text. Okay? So you can, if you are very happy about this, you can take it to the object-oriented level, okay? Where you just take this logic, and then you build yourself a simple encryption and decryption tool. Okay? So, and, and then the mechanism on this is just uh, reverse cipher. Are you guys following? So if anybody will build a tool and put it in the market, then it's going to be based on some mechanism, right? So if, for instance, I built my encryption and decryption tool and I hosted it on some server and you said you needed an encryption tool and you went to download that and you have no idea what mechanism that is behind it, is that so? Yeah, you don't know that if I use reverse cipher, right? So you just click, click, click and it's all working for you but you have no idea what mechanism is behind it. Now, if I do an investigation and I find out at the end of the day you use reverse cipher, then it's very easy, right? For me to be able to determine was the answer, but actually in practice nobody uses reverse cipher. It's just a, uh, it's just a very old one, I think. <laughs> nobody. Yes, you have a question. I think the time is up. Tomorrow, no, next week we will continue writing more complex codes for other algorithms.